Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another Madden 16 online game today We have the Washington Redskins and the Arizona Cardinals We have Larry Fitzgerald and the sneakily high-powered Cardinals offense You may not think of him as a great offensive team, but in Madden you have Larry Fitz and Michael Floyd two very tall receivers You got John Brown in the slot making plays right here then you got Andre Ellington in the backfield. He's a pretty good Madden back. And Carson Palmer's got the keys to the Ferrari. It's just how he drives it. And right now, it's a smooth ride. Second down and six. Andre Ellington not able to get anything. And we are faced with a pretty key third down and seven. At the 37, we're running the fleet flicker, catching our opponent off guard, firing for Fitzgerald. But Carson Palmer misses the mark. Instead, we try to settle for the field goal and barely make it long field goal 50 plus yarder thankfully we made it but it would have been nice to have that first down and potentially touchdown catch to Fitzgerald instead we kick the ball off to our opponent who is the man UB23 aka Ushbeck and on the first play of the game he's going deep has Jordan Reed who breaks the tackle attempt out running Gerard Powers and Jordan Reed into the end zone first play first score for Ushbeck if you guys have been following my channel for a while you know who bag is we played a lot of you know Madden games over the years we played a lot of 2k team up you know we played Madden team up when it was in the game and you know he's been a good friend of mine for a while on the YouTube scene and just YouTube scene and just in general so his channel link will be in the description check him out and check out Michael Floyd he needed to make a man miss to get that first down Michael Floyd's not exactly the yak kind of guy so unfortunately that didn't work out and we end up punting the ball down seven to three and even though it's early in the game Kind of a dangerous position right here. The thing is, though, we haven't really seen his offense yet. He only had one play. So now that he's coming out here, we got some pretty good plays the first two plays. And now third down nine, we just have to contain RG3 and let him make throws like that to the Honey Badger. Tyron Matthew with the pick just like that. We flip the field position and we're running the screen to Andre Ellington. who looked like we had a nice juke move, but somehow got suctioned back in there. But yeah, we just got to contain RG3 and let Ellington get carries on offense. Look at Ellington. Oh, that's that was like a loss of three yards. Instead, we're able to find the little crease and get the first down. And why not give Andre Ellison a few touches? How about three touches in a row? It's working. We got third down and two, a third down and manageable. So we're not running it four times in a row. Yeah, we are. Andre Ellington bouncing it to the outside, getting the first down. Nice gain of six yards. But we're going to come out passing on first down and goal. And this is not the first option, but it's the best option on this play. Stefan Taylor into the end zone. Kerrigan was the closest guy, but he was not able to even get a finger on Taylor until he was celebrating in the end zone. We get a touchdown on that play. And, um, yeah, like I said, um, Ushback's channel link is in the description, so check it out. And check out him with this Redskins offense. We talked about how the Cardinals offense is great. The Redskins also have a very good Madden offense. You got Deshaun Jackson, one of the fastest and most elusive players in the NFL. Alfred Moore is coming out the backfield again. Some nice yak right there. Pierre Garçon. You got Andre Robertson the slide and of course rg3 we may not be doing too well in real life as the honey badger tackles that man out of bounds but madden with that speed he'll always be good he will always be good and right now he needs rg3 to be good in the two minute drill because you want to try to get the touchdown and score right for the end of the half hard to do both but he's doing a pretty good job of that right now as number 31 the backup running back gets a second carry in a row and a nice gain of six yards second down and four not too much in the passing game since that last touchdown down and he had Alfred Morris open but the throw across the body is way off third down and four the run game has been working on this drive and it works again move the chains it's all you need Thompson getting the first down Alfred Morris getting this touch it looked like he had a crease but he gets tripped up 26 seconds left now 16 seconds left Alfred Morris with another carry breaking the tackle breaking the second tackle before finally being wrapped up now 11 seconds left third down and three looking at the end zone RG3 looking at Alfred Morris but this time Morris is brought down and he's going to settle for the field goal and that was big for us because I knew Alfred Morris was gonna be open in the flats so we put a flat zone in there to make sure it didn't happen this time it could happen earlier in the drive and instead of him having the lead and ball coming out of half it's a tie ball game it would have been a pretty high pressure situation for our defense to um, put 
give him a nice four point lead so now it's a tie game and right now the defense needs to stop alfred morris we just need to tackle this man he is breaking the first tackle attempt almost every single time we need to wrap up fundamentals and then put a boom shot on rg3 but he's able to get out of bounds just like that though he's already at the 37 yard line in field goal range alfred morris a nice double dosage of passing and running from Ushbag, but that run goes nowhere third down and eight deshaun jackson gets the catch but deshaun is wrapped up deshaun's been silent this game thankfully for us and on fourth down and seven he is going for it rather than trying to take the lead rg3 time but now the pressure is coming and he throws it on the run and it's incomplete Ushbag had an open man he playmaker the receiver open but robert griffin the third across the body on the run too much to ask he can barely make throws in the pocket, and now all of a sudden we got the ball right back. But Jason Hatcher puts Calmer on his backside. A loss of 13 yards. That's a drive killer, but this is a drive ender. Look at John Brown taking the lead with that touchdown. A long ball to the slot speedster for the Cardinals. Brown, who had a great rookie season last year. And if he plays like that for the Cardinals and Carson Palmer, they can make back-to-back -back playoff appearances. It's RG3 using his mobility to get the first down a gain of 15 16 yards as we're closing to the end of the third quarter that was a big touchdown for us because now as we're heading to the fourth quarter you know field goals are almost pretty much out the question right now we have five minute quarters we have second down and six we have rg3 firing downfield it looked like it would be a collision between powers and um jordan instead neither of them got the ball third down and six rg3 rolling out now he stops he's looking to throw and rg3 gets intercepted by minter it looked like he played maker the receiver open but he throws it in the corner and gets intercepted and on the first play of offense Jermaine Gresham walking touchdown just like that we're up two possessions and the long ball is treating us very nicely in fact the long ball has been treating bonus very nicely that was Ushbag's first touchdown on the long ball so a lot of big plays going on right now but we are definitely at the advantage in the long ball the big plays and we got to make a big play on defense if we want to win this game we bring the house and thankfully power knocks the ball loose from Garcon that brings up a third down and 10 RG3 looking firing and picked off by Buchanan Dion Buchanan nothing but green celebrating taunting into the end zone and now we have a 21 point lead it was just like a tie game not too long ago second down and 23 blink of an eye 21 point lead for us we are making all the plays right now he's just gotta chuck it up deep he knows he needs a big play of his own just to get one touchdown to get back into this game we're setting the blitz right here but no one's coming home instead rg3 able to roll out eluding one man juking by the honey badger rg3 in the open field patrick peterson the b and he fumbles the ball oh that could have killed him right there but alfred morris picked it up in fact it was almost a touchdown it almost worked out for him instead first down and 10 under four minutes to go taking a shot downfield and getting the touchdown over powers pierre garcon that is just what the doctor ordered as john brown returning the kick and john brown in the open field getting almost to midfield and that's what the doctor ordered for us field position but on the first play of offense we get picked off looking for fitzgerald instead we find robinson and if he gets a quick touchdown, he still has all of his timeouts. This game is far from over. And right now, RG3 is making all the plays, rushing the ball. Four rushes, 73 yards, and now Alfred Morris. Like I said, he had a good, you know, mixed balance of running and passing, and he's still sticking with it. First down and 10. RG3 going downfield again, trying to get a second deep one. And it's tipped in the air and almost picked off by the Honey Badger. Garcon wasn't able to get the other catch. Second down and 10. We bring the pressure. RG3 just got to throw that one away. Of course, he needs touchdowns right now. We're just trying to protect the end zone. Third down and 10. Pressure coming, and it's another incomplete pass. The pressure is coming home, and now fourth down and 10. Game on the line. Four verts. Robert Griffin, the third, lobbing it up, and it's caught by Jordan Reed. Game stays alive. Uzbek's just not saying die. Instead, he's saying the pressure is on me because he gets that touchdown. He still has all three of his timeouts. Very precarious situation for us. Don't like we were running away with this game. And now we're forced to convert a few first downs on offense. If we want to get the W that we thought we had secured. As we're going to go to the two minute warning after Fitzgerald got the first down there. Looking to run the ball here. Pitched into the outside to Ellington. But Ellington gets stuffed. A little bit of lag. Eventually Andre Ellington is going to go down for a loss of three yards. And now it's third down and six just like that. So much pressure to get a first. And Larry Fitzgerald.
field. One hand snags it from high in the air. Palmer a little bit off as we hit the spin move right there. But Larry Fitzgerald saves the Cardinals. Second down in inches. We convert for a first down. That is pretty much going to end this game. We are going to run a few more plays just to mess around. It's a friendly game. So we're not going to need a ball even though we can. We're going to you know, run the ball. See if we can give him a chance. Or, you know, we can just score a touchdown. I'm looking at John Brown downfield. He's got a step in. John Brown had it. But unfortunately, it's incomplete. So it's seven seconds left. We're just going to run the ball. Just trying to you know, make a top 10 play. Do some little madness out here. Hit a little a few juke moves. Two seconds left. Going to try to take one more shot for the end zone. But the pressure is going to come home right there. But thankfully, we didn't fumble the ball. And we're able to come through with the victory. We That lead was slipping away. I did not want to punt that ball back to him because he was rolling on offense. Thankfully, you know, we're able to clock out the rest of the game and win. So leave a like in this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to for a more Man 16. Great game to Oosh Bag. And I'll catch you guys next time.